Malaysia's Deputy Prime Minister Zahid Hamidi has confirmed the existence of a royal addendum, which allows former Prime Minister Najib Razak to serve the remainder of his jail sentence at home. It was issued in January by former King Sultan Abdullah. DPM Zaid added that other government members had also signed the copy of that document. CNA's Afif Arafin tells us more. In an affidavit filed on 9th April, AMNO President Zahid Hamidi said the royal addendum he cited expressly stated that Najib be allowed to serve his reduced jail sentence under condition of house arrest. Zahid claimed that International Trade and Industry Minister Zafal Aziz, who is also an AMNO senator, had shown him a copy of the addendum on his phone. However, Mr. Zafal in a statement later said that he is seeking legal advice to file an affidavit of his own to correct certain certain factual errors, though he did not state what these errors were. He added that he takes no position on the merits of the ongoing case. Earlier this month, Najib filed an application for leave to initiate a judicial review over the royal addendum, which was purportedly issued along with a partial pardon granted in January. He's also seeking a court order that the government answer and verify the existence of the document. He adds that if the addendum order exists, then it must be executed, and Najib it must be removed from Kajang prison immediately to serve the remainder of his reduced six-year jail sentence at home. At the hearing on Wednesday morning, the court had approved Najib's request for proceedings to be held in chambers, thus barring media from coverage. The affidavit, however, was made public on the judiciary's website. Najib's lead counsel, Shafi Abdullah, said the issue is sensitive and complicated. The matter is not so straightforward, very complicated because this is the first time an issue like this has ever arisen, not only in this country, and the order is from the young Deputonago, no less, and the order is not shown to us, not shown to the Tutsi Najib, and it's not enforced. You know, you cannot dispute with the king's order. That is our argument. The case has been adjourned to June 5th, but observers point out that if there is indeed a judicial review, the legal and constitutional ramifications, especially on the nature of royal pardons, could be immense, given the debate generated by the partial pardon. Politically, it poses another challenging situation for Prime Minister Anwar's government. Critics may question why the House arrest order was not made public. And regardless of the explanation, the reluctance to grant Najib this could weaken support for the unity government from AMNO supporters. While well, any concession to Najib could create greater unease from the Pakatan Harapan base. Afifa Arifin, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.